Welcome back. In this step, we'll get our hands dirty and we'll write a query to get the details of a specific person. So we want to pass in the ID and get the details of a specific person. So how do we do that? Let's look at it. So I'm copying the previous method. I'll call this method as find by ID. And I would pass in the ID of the person. So the ID of the person is integer, right? So it's int ID. That's the one which you'd want to pass in. And over here in JDBC template, when you are querying for a single person, so I'm now not querying for a list of persons, but I'm querying for a single person. In these kind of situations, you can use something called query for object. So query for object is when you are actually querying for a specific object, when for a specific thing. So what we want to do is we would want to query this select start from person for a specific person. So I would want to say where ID is equal to question mark. So now I need to replace this question mark with the ID which is passed in. So select start from person where ID is equal to one, when ID is one. When I is equal to three, the question mark should be replaced by three. How do I do that? The query for object method accepts a list of parameters. So I would need to create an array of objects and pass the parameter ID in. So this query might be having multiple parameters. In that case, you can pass multiple parameters in. But for now, we only have one parameter that needs to be passed. So I'll say new object of ID. Let's pull it down a little bit so that it's much more clearer to understand. So this is what we have until now. Now, I would use the same bean prop row mapper, which we defined earlier. And what I'll do is change this. So it's not no longer a list of person, it's just a person. So very simple, isn't it? Find by ID and specific thing. And I'll go to the database demo application and say user ID 10,001. So let's make sure we have that in the data.sql. Yep, 10,001 we have inserted. So let's get the details of 10,001. I need to say find by ID and pass in 10,001. Let's try to print this right now. Let's run this. The application is in debug mode. I would rather stop this, remove the debug mode so that I can see the log much more clearly. So I'll go to my application of properties. I would comment this one by putting a hash in front of it and start it again. Over here, you can see user ID 10,001. What we looked at in this step is to retrieve the details of a specific ID. As an exercise, what I would recommend you to do is to create similar queries. So for now, we are trying to find by ID. When you find by ID, there'll be only one row back. But you can create other methods for find by name. For find by name, you can have multiple results back because they can be multiple persons with the same name. And also you can do find by location. So I would recommend you to try and play around with the data and create a few more methods in here. You can try to create a few more retrieve methods, trying to write queries for them and trying to retrieve the data for them. And then you can call them from the database demo application from the run method to check if they are all working fine. I'll see you in the next step after you complete those exercises. Until then, bye-bye.